everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So ngayon, i-discuss ko sa inyo um, ang isang um, elevator problem. So meron isang student na lumapit sa akin and then nag-request na gumawa ako ng tutorial dito. And ito yung exact problem na binigay niya. Okay, so isusolve natin itong problem na to. And um, usually, madalas nyo itong may encounter sa physics pag may mga kailangan ko i-compute na tension sa isang elevator problem. So for example here, meron tayong um, ganitong problem. So an elevator and its load weighs 300 newtons. So compute for the tension on the cable supporting the elevator if it is going up at 2 meters per second squared. So what is the tension when the elevator is going down at the same rate? Okay, so una nating isusolve dito is ano muna yung tension niya as the elevator goes up. So ang first step usually kapag may mga ganitong problems is drawing muna natin yung ating um yung ating force diagram. Now, kung hindi nyo pa masyadong alam kung paano mag-create ng force diagrams, meron na akong tutorial on how to create force diagrams. So, pwede nyo panoorin yun. Um, ilalagay ko yung link dito sa video na to. Okay, so, ganito siya, no? So, kung i-drawing natin yung elevator, like a box here, yan, na i-represent natin to as um, like a box. Okay, so, identify natin yung mga forces acting on the elevator. So, definitely yung elevator, um nasusupport siya nasusupport yung weight niya because of ano because of cables na naka-attach sa kanya so yung cables na yon um uh, sa cable kasi parati kang meron dong tension okay so tension yung tawag natin dun sa force that is acting on a cable or any rope or any wire okay so ang direction ng tension is always upwards kaya dito i-drawing natin siya sa force diagram as a force that is acting upwards okay parati siyang pataas okay So it doesn't matter kung ano yung motion ng object mo basta merong um uh, basta merong cable na naka-attach sa kanya and naka-suspend siya whether yung object mo is at rest ang direction ng tension is always upwards whether yung object is uh, pababa siya katulad ng sa case ng elevator ang tension parating upwards din okay so ano pa yung other force na na meron doon sa elevator so meron tayong weight okay? o yung force of gravity So, pwede natin siya i-drawing dito na pababa like this. Okay? So, remember na itong weight na to, this is also equal to the force of gravity or to the gravitational force. Okay? Now, um, ito yung dalawang forces that is acting on the elevator. Now, di ba naaral natin before na ang motion ng isang object uh, nakadepende dun sa net force niya. So, yung direction ng... Um, object mo, depende dun din sa direction ng net force. So again, pag sinabi natin net force, ibig sabihin nito, ito yung total forces that is acting on the object. So that is the sum of all the forces acting on the object. So sa case na to, pwede natin isulat siya in a, in a form of an equation. Pero bago yun, um, sabi kasi dito, kailangan muna natin ang compute yung tension dun sa cable kapag yung elevator is going up. Okay, going up siya. So ibig sabihin, ang direction ng inyong net force. So, kung i-drawing natin siya dito, yan. So, ito yung magiging net force mo. So, ang net force mo is going upwards. Okay? Pataas siya. Bakit pataas? Kasi ang movement ng elevator mo, pataas din. Right? So, ngayon, based, ang, ang maganda kasi kapag ginodrawing natin yung force diagram, dito natin na-identify kung ano yung sign na gagamitin natin para sa equation natin. Diba sabi natin, ang net force is just the sum. Okay? So pag sinabi natin net force, ito total lang natin yung tension at saka yung weight. Okay? So sa case na to, ang net force natin is positive kasi going upward siya. And then kung ito total natin to magiging tension plus, okay? now kung mapapansin nyo, yung weight natin is going downward. Okay? So ibig sabihin, ang sign na gagamitin natin sa weight, that will be negative. Ayan, like this. Okay? So, isi-simplify ko lang ha. So, susulat ko siya na equation na ganito. So, F net is equal to T minus W. Okay? So, ayan. So, ngayon, yung T plus negative W, parehas din siya ng T minus W. Alright. So, identify natin yung mga given natin. So, sa given natin, ang sabi dito, meron kang uh, weight. Okay? So, ang weight mo is 300 newtons. Weight natin is 300 newtons. So ano pa given dyan? Given tayo ng acceleration. So yung acceleration ng elevator is 2 meters per second squared. Ito yung um, net acceleration natin. Okay. 
Now, based ito sa given na ito, paano natin compute yung ating tension? Kasi ang hinahanap ay tension. Now, based ito sa equation, okay, so para masolve natin yung tension, ang kailangan natin gawin, itong weight, kita transpose natin siya dito sa left side. Okay, para yung tension na lang yung matitira sa right side. So, magiging ganito na yung ng equation natin. So, F net plus W is equal to P. Yan. Or, pwede ko rin siya isulat as this. P is equal to F net plus W. Now, alam natin na yung F net, okay, so ang F net natin is compute natin by using the equation M times A or mass times the acceleration. Now, sa given natin, meron tayong weight. Check. Okay, so meron tayo nito. Now, sa F net, kailangan natin na acceleration. So, check din kasi meron tayong acceleration given. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayong mass. Okay? So, paano natin i-compute ang mass? Kasi walang given dito sa problem. Now, remember, di ba sabi ko kanina, pwede natin gamitin itong equation na to, That the weight is equal to Fg. Dahil ang weight, okay, this one is also equal to Fg, which is also equal to Mg. Di ba, ang a gravitational force is just equal to the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so from here, um, kung gagamitin natin tong equation na to, so magiging ganito na siya. So weight is equal to mg. So para masolve natin ang mass, kailangan natin i-divide both sides of the equation by g. So makakancel na yung g dito, which is acceleration due to gravity. So remember, g is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. So solve na natin yung mass. No? Okay, so ang mass natin is equal to W over G. So that's 300 newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. And kapag ito, kinumpute nyo, makukuha nyo yung sagot is 30.6 kilograms. Actually, nung, nung tinitingnan ko tong problem na to, I was thinking, parang hindi realistic yung values. So okay, bakit ka nasabi na hindi realistic? Kasi ang sabi dito, yung bigat daw ng elevator at saka yung weight niya, yung load niya, o kung ano man ang meron doon sa loob, let's say, may tao na sakay doon sa elevator, ang bigat daw nilang dalawa is 300 newtons. Which is, kung titingnan nyo, ibig sabihin nun, ang mass ng elevator at saka yung load niya is just equal to 30.6 kilograms. Which is very impossible kasi ang usual na bigat ng isang adult person is 50 kilograms. So, para bang sinabi natin na mas maaga ang pa yung elevator kaysa sa tao. <laughs> Kaya napansin ko, parang hindi yata realistic yung problem. Siguro kung 30,000 30, newtons to, maybe 3,000 newtons, medyo realistic pa. So anyway, so this is just a problem. Pero yun nga, um, siguro kung ito is in, in, in invento or sinulat lang, um, I would say medyo may problema yung nagsulat nito. <laughs> medyo hindi ka man yung paniwala yung mga values sa sinulat niya. Pero anyway, um, I'm not here to comment about that. So tuturuan ko lang lang kayo kung paano to isolve. Okay, so para masolve natin to, ang uh, gagawin ko na ngayon is since meron na tayong mass, di ba? Okay, so pabalik ako dito sa equation ko na T is equal to, etong F net, papalitan ko na siya ng MA. Yan. Kasi ang F net is just equal to mass times acceleration uh, mass times acceleration plus yung ating weight. Yan. So kung papalitan natin to ang mass natin is 30.6 kilograms times 2 meters per second squared plus yung ating 300 newtons. Okay. So this one would be equal to 61.2 newtons. So plus 300 newtons. So, ang ating tension would be 361.2 newtons. And so, ito na po yung ating final answer. So, pwede nyo rin naman yung i-round off to 361 newtons. So, depende na lang kung ano instruction na let's say ibigay ng teacher nyo, kailangan siyang i-round off to the nearest whole number. Okay, so, now this time naman, try naman natin sagutan na ano ba yung tension doon sa elevator kapag pababa naman siya. Ano yung tension doon sa ating uh, cable? Okay, so again, uh, magsisimula ako ulit sa isang force diagram. Okay, so yung force diagram natin would look like this. Okay, so again, ang tension natin is pataas. Remember, kahit pa baba ang elevator, ang tension mo pataas pa din. And then, meron tayong weight. Ang weight natin parating pa baba ang direction kasi it's always directed towards the center of the earth. Yan, kasi gravitational force nga siya. And then, yung ating net force this time since pababa yung direction ng ating 
um, elevator, ang net force natin is also going downwards. Yan. So ngayon, isusulat natin to as an equation. So gagamitin natin na guide yung mga arrows, yung direction na arrows, para malaman natin kung ano yung sign. Kasi kapag ang arrow natin is going upwards, positive siya. And kapag going downwards ang arrow, negative ang sign. So kung, kung gagawin natin yan dito, so we now have negative F net. Yan, negative ang ginamit ko kasi downwards yung F net natin. So this is equal to the tension plus again, negative uh, W. Okay, so kung simplify ko to, this is negative F net. And then ito magiging T minus W. So kailangan nating sagutin ano yung tension, no? So, ibig sabihin, itong negative W, transpose ko siya dito sa left side. And kapag nilipat ko siya doon, magiging positive siya. So, magiging ganito na yung na equation natin. So, W minus F net equals T. Okay. Or, pwede ko rin itong i-rewrite as T is equal to W minus F net. Okay. So, since kanina na-compute na natin yung F net natin, which is equal to MA, okay? So yung mass natin kanina, di ba, that's 30.6 kilograms tapos yung acceleration natin na 2 meters per second squared. So this is, kanina again, this is equal to 61.2 newtons. So ang gagawin na lang natin, ipapalit na lang natin siya dito. So kanina, sinulat natin na yung weight natin is equal to 300 newtons. So minus lang natin yung 61.2 newtons. So therefore, ang tension natin this time is equal to, equal to 238 0.8 newtons. Yeah. So there you go. So ganyan po yung pag-compute ng ating tension sa isang elevator problem. So again, kailangan sisimulan nyo muna sa paggawa ng force diagram. Kasi yung force diagram yung magiging guide ninyo para malaman nyo kung ano yung dapat na sign na gagamitin natin dun sa isang equation. So again, kapag pataas yung direction ng arrow, positive yung sign na gagamitin natin, and kapag pababa naman yung arrow, dapat yung sign na gagamitin natin is negative. Ang direction ng net force natin, nakadepende tayo sa kung ano yung direction ng object. So kung ano yung sinabi ng direction ng object, ganun din ang direction ng net force. So sana po nakatulong ng malaki po sa inyo itong um, tutorial na to. So kung meron kayo mga ganito ng mga similar problems na let's say gusto nyo ipasolve or gusto nyo gawa natin ng tutorial, as long as kaya ko. So you can, ano, you can send a comment here. Um, pwede nyo i-type doon yung problem or you can also um, reach out to me um, dito sa, ano, sa, sa YouTube. Na. So nandito naman yung email address ko. So again guys, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next tutorial.